I feel like I'm always hearing about like really shitty landlords on social media like all the time. And recently I think I found one of the worst possible because she's getting mad over someone drawing with chalk on sidewalk. Which is crazy because the sidewalk is literally public property and I feel like as long as someone's not drawing something like obscene, who cares? I just think it's really wild that there are people out there that treat tenants like this, like the people who pay the money to live somewhere, and it's just mind-blowing to me. So the TikToker who made the video talking about her landlord, she does chalk art and she's actually really, really good. Like some of her stuff is like so cool and it's so nice to see that people still like just want to do fun things and nice things in the world, especially with everything that's happened in the last like three years. It's just really cool to see someone just want to like make art and spread fun, you know? And this is the original video that she had posted talking about her landlord and like what everything had happened. Um, and it really caught a lot of people's attention because of how innocent what she was doing is and how extreme the landlord was. Like it, it's just crazy. My landlord's wife told me my truck art was disrespectful and I had to go. Yesterday I was doing truck art in the driveway. My landlord drove by to check it out, seemed really interested and excited for me. I wasn't finished yet, so I told him to come check it out tomorrow. So today he pulls up with his wife. She immediately tells me that what I was doing was disrespectful and not okay. I explained that it was chalker and it would wash away once it rained. She told me that I have been so disrespectful to her a lot and that she's let me get away with a lot and that she was not happy. I told her that I wasn't being disrespectful and that I would wash it off myself. She kept calling me disrespectful because I didn't ask. Okay, well I didn't think I needed to, but now I know. But what blows me away is that she kept saying things like, Kara, we have conflict and you're disrespectful to me and I know there are other places to rent, so if you don't like it here, you could just leave. Just from like that first like part of the landlord's wife being angry, not even the actual landlord, just his wife being upset. I feel like that was like just personal. Like she was upset that he liked it and she just like felt like she wanted to attack someone for no reason. And the fact that she brings up like we've had conflict before and like maybe you should just leave is like just tell her you don't want her there. Like <laughs> you don't have to hide it behind like like this innocent chalk nonsense like it's just so ugh. which any issues we have had in the past were all inside she comes at me for the littlest things or flips things around to make me seem irresponsible however she says that to me a lot and so i told her flat out i was like hey there's no issues here i'm doing what you're asking i've been compliant we are done with this conversation goodbye i can't listen to her belittle me anymore but the art is gone to come at someone so hard for like drawing on the sidewalk with chalk is so insane and this woman has to have like something against her like i don't know what but she just like has to like either be jealous or upset at her for something because there's no way any like sane person would just randomly be like oh, i don't like that that's too much like that's not cool like that's disrespectful like it's it's there's no way <laughs> so that was the first video that she had posted and it like really blew up and a lot of people were like what the fuck who gets upset at chalk especially chalk that's just like cartoon characters but she posted an update video and I wanted to also look at like all of the updates because there's quite a few updates since like that original video posted and the next one I believe has to do with like the landlord's wife calls her and it's like the actual video like of like the call and just you can really tell that she's like an absolute Karen and um it's just it oh ugh, ugh. My landlord's wife told me my chalk art was disrespectful and I had to go. I got a call from her after this text. So, did we sign a lease with you? Well, yeah, whenever I moved in. When I, I signed could... it. Well, I know it was. So, um, are you wanting to move? No, I just want a copy of it. Well... Usually we make a copy and send it to you, so I'm surprised you don't have one. Yeah, I don't I have get to one. look it up. I've been at the office. Okay. And I just wanted to tell you that I'm really sorry what happened Sunday, but you know things aren't going. We're just dealing with a lot of different people, and I just cannot have that on the driveway. I know it's art. I know you're an artist, and I'm sure it was very good, but I can't have that there. That's okay. I've been able to do it on the sidewalk, so I understand not, you know, wanting to do it in the driveway, but. You're doing it on the sidewalks? Yeah. In front? Yep. And the city says it's all right? Yep. Hmm. 
Well, I don't know that I really am happy about that either. I feel like it's crazy that this whole conversation had to happen just because she wanted like a copy of her lease. Like that's all she just wanted to like, you know, see that obviously there's nothing in the lease saying that she can't draw on the sidewalk. And I, I just, you just know the moment that that wife saw that message, she was like pissed and was like, oh no. <laughs> and to start off the conversation, like implying like, oh, do you want to leave? It's just like, of course she doesn't. She would have just said, hey, I'm leaving. And I think it's just like the weird, like, oh, was this okay with the city? Like, um, you know, like it's not you personally. It's just, I have a lot of people I'm like trying to like manage and all this nonsense. It's just like, it's so like trying to like find a reason somewhere that she's right. I just, I don't know what it is. She sounds older and like no offense to older people, but like it, it's just some of them are like such Karens. It's really crazy. Ugh. I'm not liking this at all. All I, just, right. I don't I don't understand you, see? I don't know why you want to do this to us. I'm not we trying to start any problems. I'm just yes, drawing. I'm just yes, drawing. 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 It's summer. Well, why don't you go somewhere? Did because I live there? here. I live here. Uh, hey, really? Uh, that's right. But anyway, I'm sorry this has happened. Yeah, really. please Karen, don't yell at me. Oh, no. I wouldn't want to yell at you because you just... I, I think there's someone that's headed your way most of the time. The fact that she just like explodes on her and just, like yells at her like as if she's yelling at like her dog is just crazy. Like you can't just yell at your tenants, especially when you're not even the actual landlord, you're just his wife. Like ugh, this whole video made me so upset. I just, and it's so much, it, it's so long and it's just her repeating herself, like trying to find a reason to blame her. Like I hope she finds a better place or that like this lady just like stops being crazy and the amount of support that she's gotten just from like the last few days is insane which is good like i'm really proud that a lot of people have been like commenting and like sharing and like showing support and saying like this isn't okay like what you're doing is awesome and your landlord sucks <laughs> like she does like she's really just the worst probably like i can't imagine how other tenants must feel like having her as like the landlord's wife like like she must be such a headache to deal with honestly i can't imagine and after that call there was another update where i guess like the news picked up the story and interviewed her and like it was like being talked about in her town and stuff and it's really sweet because after that like some girls who lived in the area like came and they like showed her their art and it was so sweet and nice and it was just so wholesome that like these little kids saw the story and were like omg i love chalk let me show her that like you know she's not alone like hell yeah <laughs> which is like just so innocent of children to like want to do that because they don't really understand why these old people like these adults like have all these weird ass rules that they think you need to follow of, like you can't do that here like what of course they can it's fucking sidewalk the chalk is for they wouldn't sell it if it was illegal but that's pretty much the whole thing it's not a whole lot um i think it just blows my mind that so many people can be so awful and just try and like make other people feel shitty all the time it just ugh, it bothers me i think it's just bothersome that that's how people live and it's unfair that people take out their anger on innocent people all the time like this but yeah that's pretty much all there is right now uh, if there's more, I'll definitely make an update because I think it's really cool to like stick up to people who try to put you down because that's pretty fucked up. So I'm going to call it there. Um, thanks for watching if you are still here and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.